I want to talk about another really big factor in what's going on today and what also went down in 2020, and that's media collusion, because we have this tweet from Oliver Darcy. Uh, um, Look, hey, man, shout out to Oliver Darcy for actually putting this out here. He said, some news in reliable sources. Senior White House and admin officials have been holding briefings with major newsrooms over the past week as they try to reshape economic coverage. The White House, not happy with the news as media coverage of the supply chain and economy, has been working behind the scenes trying to reshape coverage in its favor. Senior White House and admin officials, including NEC Deputy Directors David Kamen and Bharat Rama, uh, Rama Murthy, along with Port's Envoy John Porcari, have been briefing major newsrooms over the past week, a source tells me. The officials have been discussing with newsroom trends pertaining to job creation, economic growth, supply chains, and more. The basic argument that has been made. The country's economy is in much better shape than it was last year. I'm told the conversations have been productive, with anchors and reporters and producers getting to talk with officials. To put it simply, they're having secret meetings behind your back because they want the press to change the narr- uh, narrative on the garbage economy and your suffering. Mm. This is what they did with uh, Afghanistan. He wanted the Afghani president to tell everyone things were going just just fine. White houses do me. White houses do background briefings to people to make sure they can understand the complexities of of issues, right? And, and help the media be smart and when they address this. That is not what this is. This is the fact that they have now spent how many trillions of dollars uh, uh, on bills that they've passed to juice this economy, and it's dead. If you take the printing machine away from these clowns, this economy is going to implode, and they know it, okay? That's why they're up there today with, the, with Mitch McConnell and the Republicans doing a gimmick to get relief on the debt ceiling, okay? Now, what Darcy's outing them on is that they're in back now because they've got to have the media work with them to sell it to the American people. Remember, you're, they're talking on the talk shows all week. The media is not, or Saki said, the media is not doing, you're not doing a good job of selling our program. Yeah. Yep. Now, they need a media partner to sell it, okay? Because every time you see anything with metrics like the jobs report last week, which was what, less than half of what the jobs report, and people got to remember, this was with a massive infusion of cash. They say it's, oh, different than last year. Yeah, you've had another, what, $3 trillion. Another, what, two and a half or $3 trillion has been juiced into the system. Okay? And yes, it's a lot worse than last year. Have you seen this before? I can't. I don't have my glasses The, the M1 money supply? Oh, yeah, 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 right there. I love it. I love it. Right around the start of the uh, the pandemic, they, they yep. instituted a change in reporting where they said your savings accounts are now basically checking accounts, which causes the money supply to explode by, by several hundred yeah. percent. But what they and they and they try and argue. They they always say to me, Tim, you don't understand that huge spike is just a change in reporting because savings are are now and okay. Well, look at since then, look at this this spike. We went from what do we got here, sixteen thousand five hundred and eighty three, and that's in what billions? I think it is billions of dollars, and now it's at twenty thousand billions of dollars in the span of what do we got? We got from June twenty twenty till October of twenty twenty one. We have jumped. Four thousand billion dollars in the money supply. This, that is this massive. This is fiat money. This is the reason mm-hmm. they have forced you. I tell people, it's it's you, right now every per, and I'm not telling you to buy gold and silver or platinum, and I'm not telling you to buy crypto. But here's what I am telling you: you on your own have better get smart on your own. Sit there, do your study, talk to people because they're forcing you. They're destroying the U.S. dollar in front of our eyes, and they're destroying it for generations to come. If they get this spending done, the seven trillion dollars programmatically that you can't take back every person in this audience under 45 years old you better start to look for another store of value than the u.s dollar